Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. See what happens when you change the past? You see what happens? Now all the anime is gone. All the anime from Akiara is gone. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's a small price to pay for getting her father back. I mean, if I... I mean, I guarantee you my mom... If she could, she would change the past to where my grandfather did not go to work that day when he got uh, trapped under all those rocks and became paralyzed from uh, the waist down. What happens, happens, and you can't really change it here in, you know, in the world. You know, in Steins Gate, I mean, just a couple presses of a button, and then all of a sudden, oh, hey, my dad's alive again. I don't actually remember my dad being gone, but this guy remembers it. And now he's going to have an existential crisis over just how much the freaking world has changed. It scares me, man. You know, just how fragile, like, you know, the future and everything is in terms of, like, variations. I'd be afraid to change the past in any sort because of all that it would change. Everything that I've become, everything that I am. Ugh. All right. Well, all we know is that shit's getting crazy. Uh, The more episodes go by... It's just getting crazier and crazier and crazier. And I guess we're just going to have to see what happens. So, here we go. This is uh, Steins Gate, Episode 10, Chaos Theory Homeostasis. This is the third episode in a row that's named that. So, yeah. I guess we're still in the midst of this. Here we go. Moe. <laughs> Because she saved her father. Meikuin的爆発していたよな。メイクイーンって。メイクイーンやるんだ。道が丸々改変されるなんて。メイクイーンがあった場所とはとても重い。メイクイーンがなければ、俺たちはフェイリスとどうやって知り合ったんだ。
さんが持ってたピンマッチ明日ある場所に父さんが現れるかもしれない私はこの町を離れなきゃいけないんだけどね行かなきゃいけないところがあるの残念だったなバイト選手よマトサイエンティストであるこの俺に相談したのが運の月お前は今日からラボゲンナンバー008だ oh,、no. 俺たちの実験台となってもらうお前は蒸発する前の父親に D メールを送るのだ娘を置いていくなとな明日父親に会えても会えなくても必ずラボに来いお前の送信を利用し D メール実験をしてやる<笑> She is so weird Like、so many things like about the way she talks about stuff. Suspect. Who the hell? Paranoia. Find out that she. All of a sudden, I can just hear like all the people in this apartment. It's like, oh god, that crazy man's out in the street again laughing. <laughs> Oh, they got the satellite now. Oh, they did, yeah.
父親の現れるかもしれないという場所だったのかまあ、タイタンって名乗ってるああ、ジョンじゃなくてバレルバレルタイタンそれも昨日話したのかおまえがし携帯ムービー撮ってなかったっけバレルタイタンはもっと楽しめたけどさあいつのアップルパイ殺人的なまずさだったし。Her apple pie was man killingly horrible. カレーは極上だった。もうちょっとだけ。頑張って、父さん探してみる。Oh, the butterfly wings, they flutter.、Mm. Oh, we don't even get to see why. Damn it. Damn. Titor. I figure. I... So, I've read、mm. the comments a little bit. And apparently, we're getting very close to when the show just goes ape shit. Uh, yeah, I heard that too. It's like episode 12. Yeah, so something happens more... in episode 12. Yeah, something pretty drastic. We got one more episode, right?、Uh, we're at episode, episode 10.、Uh, that, two that more. That was 10, right? Yeah, that was 10. Yeah, so well, if it happens in episode 12, we got episode 11, and that's the only one between now and then.、So. Yeah, so.、Yeah. I think the next session we watch one of these. We will have to watch 11 and 12. The fact that it was just like there was a butterfly effect, but we're not going to tell you what exactly yet. Like the beginning of next episode is probably going to be pretty crazy. Yeah. I just have a feeling like there's going to be a point of no return D mail that I don't think this whole show is going to be them experimenting with sending D mails over and over again. There's going to be a point of no return one that drastically changes the world so much that we're just like, holy fucking shit. That's my theory on it. That's what I'm thinking too. I'm thinking like, that ho- that、uh, Kyoma is going to send something that is literally going to change everything. Yeah, like I'm I, like I have a kind of. I mean, I could be completely wrong, but I don't know. Why, for some reason, my gut's just telling me like it's going to just give the show a completely different vibe from what it's been so far. That's that that's what I'm feeling too. I'm feeling like that. And that's、There's, not a bad thing. N- no. Like, and, but, you know, it's going to be kind of like a like, mind blowing type thing. Like, there's, holy shit. There's、like, definitely、know. a fall coming. I can feel that. I can feel like there's the rug is l- about to be pulled out from under everyone. Yeah. That's what I'm feeling right now.、Well, see, like, at the end of the last episode, we got, like, the whole district changing. This time, oh, yeah. I think we got, like, a calm before a storm type deal. Yeah. Like, because it was like, okay, so I'm going to send a text. You know, he's the savior. Like, he's supposed to be doing, messing with the stuff, trying to figure this shit out. So, yeah. I, I don't fault him for telling himself to follow her. You know, like, if he thinks it's important, he should probably do it. And, but there's something coming, I feel like. I after, think so too. At the beginning of the next episode because of that butterfly hint. Yeah. So, it, it, if anything, that. If there is anything. Whatever the next one is after that is probably just going to be batshit insane. I, I, think, I think the next one is going to be nothing but build. That's what I'm thinking. I think、uh, 11. If something doesn't happen drastically at the beginning, it's going to be nothing but build and build and build and build. And then we get a big tease at the end of 11. And then all of a sudden 12 happens. And then we fall off of a cliff in terms of just like. Everything we know and everything that, you know, the rules we think we have so far, lined out. I mean, the biggest effect is changing an entire district's vibe, basically. That's, like, you know, well, yeah, the that. The that are there. Well, the dude, not only that, but they change there, the sex of a person,、for. too. Yeah, that, too. Like, I mean, there's, those are pretty big things, but. Yeah. Like, imagine changing, like, accidentally butterfly affecting, like, the entire world in some well, way. And, like, basically, like, creating an entirely different, like, earth. Than what you're currently living in. I'm wondering I just, if they're going to end up in like a very、uh, like、sci fi setting or something. I just, I just had a brilliant thought. I just had a brilliant thought.、Uh, September 11th, 2000, or, sep- or、uh, the day before,、mm-hmm. September 10th, 2001, all of a sudden you send、uh, the NSA American Airlines Flight 11,、uh, United 93, and you, know, you send them all of the, the, num-、uh, the call signs. And like, they take, like, and they're the NSA. Could say, they like, take it seriously. They take security for these flights or something like yes, that. Yes, and、know? they take it seriously.、Okay. Next thing you know, 9 11 doesn't happen. Then what? Then what? I mean, that's, that's the thing. We don't know, like, because、uh, we're watching Loki as well. I mean, you which could is butterfly effect really... something worse than 9 11 if you want to. Oh, dude, that, that, yeah. Because if. 
you know, Bin Laden and the Taliban, like, had that plan to do that and it didn't go off like they thought it would, then we're not going to be out there looking for them. And yeah. And just, just then they have the chance to just be like, all right, plan B, bitches, like, you know, and come up with something else that could plan, be worse. Like, plan B. You know, uh, yeah, we're going to, uh, you know, destroy this mall of America and kill thousands of people in it yeah. or something. Or, you know... End up flying a plane into the Super Bowl or some shit, you know? Oh, dude, yeah, that would be the worst. That'd be one of the worst. Jesus. So, yeah, this... I'm scared, but I'm excited. This show show is going to a place where I'm unsure of what's going to happen, and I've already let, you know, opened myself up to let this show just completely mess my brain up. (laughs) But now, I'm afraid of what this show is going to do to my brain. Because if it's anything like what the people have said, like we're, like, uh, as they said in The Matrix, it's just like, hold on, like, hold on to your hat, Dorothy, because Kansas is going bye-bye. Because that's where I think we're at right now. I was looking at the schedule again the other day, like that way that we're supposed to be watching this, you know? Yeah. And just knowing what the show's kind of like now, it's like I can only imagine, like, the purpose behind when we're going to be going back to, like, rewatch an episode after watching Science Gate Zero. Yeah. Just, like, the like, context that's changed is, like, it's going to be probably, like, different timelines, essentially, but <sighs> it's probably going to be pretty cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm excited. I'm extremely excited. I cannot There's wait. There's also a game on Steam. I don't know. Oh, what... yeah? If that's just a uh, retelling of like Steins Gate in the form of a visual novel, or if it's its own thing, or what, I haven't actually uh, looked. At I don't it know. Yet. I haven't looked at it because I'm afraid of spoilers. You know. Yeah, yeah, I get that. But okay, I've seen that there is a Steins Gate game on Steam that has really good reviews. Uh, all right. Well, we're gonna leave it here, everyone. Thank you all very much for tuning in. This was. Chaos Theory Homeostasis. Oh, 12 might be when we actually go back and figure out what the fuck happened in episode 1, too. That might be when Oh, we're that's on a 12. thing, yeah. Because of uh, Karisu. Mm-hmm. Oh. It's like the fact that she is on all of the fucking artwork everywhere I've seen for like everything, though, leads me to believe that she'll probably be saved at least in some timelines. Yeah. Like, but, yeah. I mean, we may end up with a situation where she's supposedly dead again after a bit. I would say so. I I would say the second that he realizes she's dead, he's going to be running back to try to change it somehow, though, through time line. So. Maybe so. I mean, because we just... Because uh, that's the thing. They did the time travel theory thing. They were talking about that in the first episode. Mm-hmm. And then the second episode... Or, and then uh, uh, at the end of the first or during the first episode, that's when she pa- she dies. That's when she gets killed. And then I also s- feel like this might be a show where like a second watching is going to be crazy too. Remember what happened. Remember what happened after uh, he found out that she died. He got a text message. Mm-hmm. I don't think we fully saw what that text message said. Yeah. And I'm guaranteeing you, he like. Like, so, something was sent back. He panicked after Karisu died. He panicked and he sent something back. And that's what started this whole freaking, like, mad like mad dash that we're on right now. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Dude, my brain. It's it's going all over the place again. Uh, we, need to, we need to get out of here. Thank, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, until next time, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. We'll see you, everybody. Peace out.